Electric cars, also known as electric vehicles or EVs, are vehicles that run on electricity rather than gasoline or diesel fuel. They have been around in various forms for over a century, but have only recently begun to gain mainstream acceptance as a viable alternative to traditional gasoline-powered cars. The history of electric cars can be traced back to the late 1800s, when inventors and engineers first began experimenting with using electricity as a means of powering vehicles. Fully electric cars were powered by large batteries, which were heavy and had limited range. They were mainly used for short trips around cities, and were popular among wealthy individuals and women, who found them to be convenient and easy to operate. Despite their early popularity, electric cars were eventually overshadowed by gasoline-powered cars, which were cheaper and had greater range. However, the invention of the internal combustion engine and the mass production of cars by companies like Ford made gasoline cars more affordable and accessible to the general public. Electric cars fell out of favor and were mostly forgotten for several decades. In recent years, however, there has been a resurgence of interest in electric cars. This is due to a number of factors, including concerns about air pollution and the need to reduce dependence on fossil fuels. As a result, many car manufacturers have begun to develop and produce electric cars, and governments around the world have implemented policies to encourage their use. One of the main advantages of electric cars is that they produce zero emissions, which means they do not contribute to air pollution. This is a major concern in many cities, where pollution from cars and other vehicles is a major problem. Electric cars also tend to be much cheaper to operate than gasoline cars since electricity is cheaper than gasoline and the maintenance costs are lower. Another advantage of electric cars is that they are very quiet, which makes them ideal for use in cities. They also have instant torque, which means that they can accelerate quickly and smoothly. This makes them very responsive and fun to drive. Despite these advantages, there are also some challenges to the widespread adoption of electric cars. One of the main challenges is the limited range of electric cars, which makes them less suitable for long trips. Additionally, the cost of electric cars is still relatively high, which makes them less affordable for many consumers. To address these challenges, car manufacturers are working to improve the range and reduce the cost of electric cars. Governments are also providing incentives to encourage the purchase of electric cars and the development of charging infrastructure. Overall, electric cars are becoming an increasingly viable alternative to traditional gasoline-powered cars. With advances in technology and increased support from governments, it is likely that we will see more and more electric cars on the roads in the coming years.